What's going on guys? Danny here from Metal Couch, bringing you probably the first unboxing that I've ever done on my Metal channel. And I promised that I would do an unboxing of this because I, in the mail today, received the limited to 1,000 copies edition of Titan, the Septic Flesh album that I really, really enjoyed. Um, so, let's see. Uh, first off, first things first, um, the box it came in. It was uh, wrapped in this shirt right here, which honestly is probably my favorite shirt to come out. I mean, all of them have these really cool pieces of artwork, but uh, I really wanted something simple with this, and it's a very good fabric. One thing that I did notice that uh, I didn't know about, and I've seen this on other shirts, is that when you look at the uh, T in Titan and the I in Titan, there's a little bit of a, a little bit of like a back to it. That's S A, so Titan Satan. Sure, sure. I think I think it's kind of corny, but it still feels like it would be a very comfortable shirt. So let's see. This deluxe collector's box includes uh, two disc deluxe digipack and exclusive live DVD, which I'm looking forward to and I will review. In a in luxurious digi sleeve with poster, exclusive metal magnet, and pinned in printed velvet bags, sold with exclusive T-shirt, limited to 1,000 copies from Season of Mist. So let's get be very careful here. Cut around the uh, the edges here. Be very gentle with it. I probably should have pre-cut it before the video, but just wouldn't feel like a proper unboxing without having to cut something. Take the plastic off. And you can't really notice it in this light. I think it's because, you know, first off, my television's still on. But uh, if you notice, you've got the uh, Prometheus artwork from the album on the front here. And let's take off the top here. Open it up. And right as soon as you open this, you have this in a printed velvet bag. Which is this seems to be their latest uh, their band insignia that comes with the uh, with it looks like the I'm not exactly sure what that symbol is kind of reminds me of the Eye of Horus but I know that that's not what it is so and we'll open it up and see what's inside and on the inside we have our magnet Let me pull that out of its plastic. And it's the uh, cover to the box. It's uh, some solid solid material. Um, definitely uh, the print on it does, isn't as high of a quality as, say, the box, but you can't really tell. In fact, it looks pretty good on the camera, but in person you can notice a little bit of a printing uh, imperfections, but then again, it's a magnet. So Next up in the box is the album itself, which... For those of you who have already bought the album, you already know, comes with the standard stuff on the inside. And by the way, digipacks are so much better than jewel cases. I love it when albums come like this. Below that, we have what I believe to be the uh, live disc here. And uh, we got a seven, tr ooh, seven tracks, but it feels like it's interesting. It feels like it's multiple discs. Open that up. Let's see what we have in here. Oh, I think this is the poster. Oh, this is pretty cool. I didn't know it came with the poster. Looks like it's double-sided as well. Does it open up anymore, or is that it? Yeah, I guess that's it. You have the uh, Prometheus artwork on one side, and then you have an alternate Titan piece on the back side. So, as for the uh, track listing, it looks like you've got The Vampire from Nazareth, We the Gods, Pyramid God, A Great Mass of Death, Anubis, Persepolis, and Five Pointed Star. So, you got a decent amount of great mass material on here. So, looking forward to popping that in and hearing what that sounds like. I think this is the last thing that we've got in our box, which I believe is the pendant that's supposed to be included. 
Let's get this plastic off of here. There we go. Comes again in a matching velvet bag. And then uh, that's what you get right there. The only thing I believe it's missing is a string, unless it comes with it. It might be further on deeper in the bag. Nope, doesn't feel like it. So, yeah, that's that's pretty much it for the uh, unboxing of Titan. This is the limited edition of it. I'm really glad I picked this up because there's some pretty cool stuff in here. And again, I don't really do unboxings often, even on my gaming channel. So this has been of a a bit of a treat for me because I think. The, maybe the only other live box that I've done was uh, Life at the Aragon for Mastodon. So that's what you get inside the limited edition of Septic Flesh's Titan, which is definitely a candidate for Album of the Year for me. I'll leave a link in the description below to my review of it if you haven't seen it yet. Until next time, Danny here from Metal Couch, signing out.